Dinosaurs have had a very interesting history in movies. Over the years, they've been depicted from these cruel and bloodthirsty monsters, to these terrifying but understanding and realistic animals, to being fucking nerfed and mainly associated with children. And while there is some truth to that statement, there are some great examples of dinosaur movies both in recent years and in the past. But there's been a burning question that I had recently asked myself in regards to just that. These dinosaur movies and shows didn't just come out of nowhere. They have a rich history that was built up all the way from the early 1900s, and have been experimented in several different genres and depicted in several different ways. And that would eventually lead to the very dinosaur movies and pieces of dinosaur media we have today. So that bears the question, what exactly started this area of the film industry? What was the first ever dinosaur movie. So before I get into this, I do want to clarify that the examples I'm going to show you today may not even qualify as full-on dinosaur movies to some people, since in these examples, they don't use dinosaurs as their main focal point of their movie. But that doesn't mean they still don't hold some level of significance, which I will get to in this video. But first, let me go through what I ended up finding during my research. To start off, I found this page on Wikipedia that features an incomplete list made up of most of the dinosaur movies ever made, along with movies in which dinosaurs appear in, even if they aren't the focal point of that movie. But for whatever reason, they're still included in this list, and the list itself doesn't show anything too interesting or anything that anybody doesn't already know. You have your Jurassic Park movies, Godzilla, King Kong, and so on. But in this list, I did find something interesting. Since the movies were sorted in chronological order by year, I was easily able to find what was considered to be the first ever made dinosaur movie titled Brute Force. Brute Force is a 1914 silent film that is literally described as a story of cavemen and dinosaurs. Th that's it. I'm not even joking. That's the whole synopsis that Wikipedia gave me. The movie was directed by D.W. Griffith, a massive contributor to the film industry as he was the first to apply financing of the feature-length film, which considers any movie with a runtime of 40 minutes or more to be feature-length. And this movie, Brute Force, is actually available to watch on YouTube. However, I'm a bit skeptical of its runtime because it's said to be 33 minutes long and the one on YouTube is actually only 25 minutes long. It's possible that it could be sped up or something, but I don't really know. Also, this version seems to be in Italian for some reason. Anyways, to summarize the movie, it starts off in the modern world where some random dude is telling us a story of life back in the days of brute force. We then transition to our main story, which from what I understand revolves around two cavemen tribes. One is co-ed and the other is without women. The tribe without women decide they've had it with the lack of women and decide to do something about it. And because simping had not yet been properly established, they automatically resort to war and kidnapping. So they attempt to fight off the co-ed tribe to kidnap the women, but then the men in the co-ed tribe suddenly discover how to simp and start protecting the women by fighting off the tribe with no women. But then the women are like, hell nah, fuck simps, and they also help fight off the other tribe. The co-ed tribe is able to beat and chase away the other tribe using clubs, which I think is supposed to show how advanced they are versus how primitive the womenless tribe is. But then the womenless tribe learns how to make clubs and make their way back to the cave of the first tribe for another fight, only to discover the men had all left and it's just the women and children. So they make their move and when the women refuse to go with them and try to fight them off, the men beat them up and fucking murder their children. They kidnap the women and take them back to their home and shortly after the men from the co-ed tribe finally return from gathering resources or something, only to discover all of their children dead and the women gone. So all the men rally up to go after the tribe that kidnapped their women and another battle ensues, but this time the men from the co-ed tribe lose and are chased off by the womenless tribe. Then the main tribe member from the co-ed tribe realizes that short range combat isn't working so he makes a bow and arrow and starts raising his kill streak. They go after the womanless tribe once more with the main tribe member shooting them with his bow and arrow. After a short fight, the women are saved and the rest of the womanless tribe surrenders, leaving our co-ed tribe in victory and ending this story. Oh yeah, you're probably wondering where dinosaurs fit into all of this. During all of this, there is a short scene that shows an animatronic dinosaur, but the scene itself is less than a minute long and is not at all significant to this story. The dinosaur doesn't do anything and this is the only scene where we actually get to see it. Prior to this one, we get scenes of snakes and what looks to be a prehistoric lizard, but aside from that, that's pretty much all we got. 
And with such a short appearance, some would probably say this doesn't count as a dinosaur movie, but this is still a record breaker for Brute Force, as it is believed to be the first live action dinosaur movie, or I guess to other people, the first film to feature a live action dinosaur. And the funny thing is, this movie is apparently a sequel to another silent movie that Griffith made called Man's Genesis, which was released in 1912. There's apparently an excerpt of the film on YouTube, which is about 9 minutes long, but I don't know how long the original film is because I couldn't find any official runtime for it. And there doesn't seem to be dinosaurs featured in this film because not only did this excerpt not show anything, but I can't find a synopsis of this movie that mentions dinosaurs within it. So I guess Brute Force still holds the record for being the first live action dinosaur film. But was it the first dinosaur film? Well, no. Brute Force was released on April 25th of 1914, but there was another film released earlier that same year in February. This movie was not live action, but it still featured a dinosaur. This movie was called Gertie the Dinosaur. Gertie the Dinosaur is thought to have been one of the earliest pieces of animation. It was made by a man named Winsor McKay, who was an artist and cartoonist that made comic strips for newspapers. His son would bring home flip books, which McKay found interesting, being able to see the pictures actually move, which would inspire him to do the same with his own projects. He would include dinosaurs into his works and even included designs similar to those that would eventually be Gertie the Dinosaur. And as for the movie itself, it has a very simple concept. McKay and his group of friends make a bet that he can make the dinosaur in his drawing move, and this is followed by a long sequence of Gertie doing tricks and interacting with other creatures and her environment. And because it's a cartoon, it has more of a wacky feel to it, and it's actually pretty fucking adorable. Despite its time and genre, I actually found a lot of enjoyment out of this 14 minute short. And there is a version of it on YouTube that you can watch for yourself. I'll be sure to leave that one and the link to Brute Force in the description down below. So even though it doesn't have a live action dinosaur in it, I would argue that Gertie the Dinosaur is more of an actual dinosaur film than Brute Force, seeing how the dinosaur within it is shown more prominently, and is actually crucial to the overall plot. Not only does it hold the record for being the earliest dinosaur film, but also the earliest animated film to feature a dinosaur. So this must be it, right? This has to be the earliest dinosaur movie ever created, right? Well, no. While Gertie the Dinosaur still holds the record for being the earliest animated film to feature a dinosaur, it wasn't the first ever dinosaur film ever created. But after doing some more digging, I'm pretty sure I discovered what the first ever dinosaur film actually was. In August of 1905, a four minute short would be released that was based around a cartoon series made by Edward Tennyson Reed. This cartoon series and its movie adaptation was called Prehistoric Peeps. Edward Tennyson Reed would start this cartoon in the 1890s, and while I can't find a real synopsis for the cartoon, I have found a few different places that seem to keep digital copies of the cartoons themselves. And after looking through and reading some of them, from what I can gather, there doesn't seem to be any real progressive storyline or characters in the cartoons. For the most part, it just seems like a lot of one-off cartoons with different captions describing the situation or event in the drawing. This would probably explain why the movie adaptation was so short. And as far as the story leading up to the creation of this movie, I really couldn't tell you anything. I'm assuming most of the information revolved around it has been lost to time. The director was Lewin Fitzhammond, a British filmmaker who is known to have directed around 400 films, one of them being Prehistoric Peeps. Aside from this, that's all I could really find about Lewin Fitzhammond in regards to this movie. Why he chose to do it and what connections he had with Reed, I don't really know. Of course, if you guys have anything to add, do let me know in the comments below. And of course, as far as the movie goes, there isn't much I could really find on that either. Unlike the previous two films we've discussed, this one doesn't seem to be available to view on YouTube, nor can I really find any solid information on it anywhere else. But with how simple the concept was for the source material, I initially assumed it was the same for the movie. But then I found what I believed is a brief synopsis of what the movie may be about on a site called the Internet Time Travel Database. This possible synopsis is being quoted by somebody named Michael Main, who I assume has more to do with the site itself than the actual actual movie since I couldn't find him connected to prehistoric peeps at all aside from this quote. The quote says, After falling asleep, Professor Trump finds himself being chased by dinosaurs and curvaceous cavewomen. Intended as a dream, I suppose. In any case, this is one of a series of live action films based on E.T. Reed's cartoons from Punch. I ran into several websites including Paleontology Online that blamed this one movie for cementing the juxtaposition of dinosaurs and men in the cinema forevermore. According to IMDB Trivia, the dinosaur special effects were accomplished with simple costumes. 
And this is pretty much what I can find on this movie. With the lack of information and availability, it made me think that maybe this film was just another piece of lost dinosaur media. And this is discussed in an article by Film School Rejects, which mentions that prehistoric peeps fell behind a bookcase at some point and is now lost to history. But after doing a little bit more digging, I was able to find a blog page that said otherwise. In this blog page, or whatever the hell this site is, it mentions prehistoric peeps featuring in Punch Magazine, which is a British weekly magazine. Eventually, it's mentioned that the movie was produced by the British Hepworth Manufacturing Company in 1905, and that both the National Archives and the British Film Institute both have copies of this movie. And not only does the British Film Institute have a copy, but they also have it available for viewing according to this post. But mind you, this was posted in 2008, so who knows if this is still a thing. I can't find anything on it, but I would imagine if the film has lasted this long already, it could more than likely last another decade. And that officially answers our question as to what the first dinosaur movie ever was. While I wasn't able to see it myself, just reading about the methods that bring dinosaurs back to life in these movies, using pantomime costumes, and comparing them to the methods we use today to bring them back to life is just amazing to me. It really shows how far we've come to keeping these extinct creatures very much alive on the big screen, even if there were some misses here and there. So thank you all for joining me on this journey to search for the first ever dinosaur movie ever created. It was quite the experience. Thank you all so much for watching and please have a nice day.